Good evening and welcome to St Paul's Wimbledon Parkside for this service of evening prayer on Saturday 27th of June 2020. Uh, this is a day on which we remember Cyril, Bishop of Alexandria, uh, a teacher of the faith, a uh, theologian who lived uh, in the 5th century and who was a major contributor uh, in his theology to the Council of Ephesus. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me, and set me high upon a rock. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. The appointed psalm is Psalm 65. Be joyful in God, all the earth. Praise is due to you, O God in Zion. To you that answer prayer shall vows be paid. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins. When our misdeeds prevail against us, you will purge them away. Happy are they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. We shall be satisfied with the blessings of your house. Even of your holy temple. With wonders you will answer us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the furthest seas. In your strength you set fast the mountains and are girded about with might. You still the raging of the seas, the roaring of their waves and the clamour of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth tremble at your marvels. The gates of the morning and evening sing your praise. You visit the earth and water it. You make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare grain for your people, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. You soften the ground with showers and bless its increase. You crown the year with your goodness and your paths overflow with plenty. May the pastures of the wilderness flow with goodness and the hills be girded with joy. May the meadows be clothed with flocks of sheep and the valleys stand so thick with corn that they shall laugh and sing. Be joyful in God, all the earth. May the richness of your creation, Lord, 
and the mystery of your providence. Lead us to that heavenly city where all peoples will bring their wealth, forsake their sins, and find their true joy, Jesus Christ our Lord. The reading is taken from the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 11, verses 13 to 24. Now I am speaking to you Gentiles. Inasmuch then as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I glorify my ministry in order to make my own people jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the part of the dough offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. And if the root is holy, then the branches also are holy. But if some of the branches were broken off, and you, a wild olive shoot, were grafted in, in their place, to share the rich root of the olive tree, do not vaunt yourself over the branches. If you do vaunt yourselves, remember that it is not you that support the root, but the root that supports you. You will say, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief, but you stand only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. For if God did not spare the natural branches, perhaps he will not spare you. Note then the kindness and the severity of God, severity towards those who have fallen, but God's kindness towards you, provided you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you also will be cut off. And even those of Israel, if they do not persist in unbelief, will be granted in, grafted in. For God has the power to graft them in again. For if you have been cut from what is by nature a wild olive tree, and grafted, contrary to nature, into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these natural branches be grafted back into their own olive tree? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat. You have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call her blessed. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call her blessed. (coughs) 
And now we come to our time of intercession. We pray first for the peace of the world, that leaders at all levels will come to see the benefits of reconciliation over warfare. So we pray for the leaders of nations, for the leaders of the church and of all faith groups, that they all may work together towards peace. And we pray that people too may work across and between different nations, that they may work within nations and within local communities, searching for reconciliation and not disagreement. And today we give a special thanks for carers. We pray particularly for all sorts of carers, for those whose professional role involves caring, for those who voluntarily care for others outside their families through charities or through their own initiative, and those carers who care for relatives and friends, often at a cost to their own freedom and welfare. May we all value carers appropriately and may they find the support of others and the inner strength to continue in their roles. And in a time of silence, we think of those we know who give or receive care from others. And finally, we look back at this day. We give thanks for its joys, for the knowledge we have gained. And we consider its frustrations and whether we could have prevented them, some of them. We think about where we might improve in future situations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Collect Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Amen. And we finish with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>